Yes. Uh, the earlier I sent uh, the counselors an email. Uh, the material is also um, here in a in a packet. So we've been dealing with this 139 Main Street safety issue, uh, and on Monday, the in, the the entire team that is involved with this, including the engineer and the owner of the neighboring building that shares a wall with this, we met to discuss this latest engineering report. And the situation is much more severe. Uh, the shared wall is collapsing and there is no additional support on the abutting owner's building. If the wall collapses, it will take out at least three apartments uh, in that neighboring building. So we have um, our health, our code enforcement and health department has issued an order to vacate those three apartments. Um, from what I understand, uh, the owner has been able to find additional accommodations for those folks. Um, so hopefully it shouldn't really be an impact to the city on that end. But uh, the demolition of that building is going to be a much more complicated process so and and much more expensive so in the meantime we've taken steps to protect the public by putting additional barriers in the front and the back of the building to restrict uh, people getting in cars getting close to the building um, we are additionally seeking a community development block grant funding um, from uh, CDFA uh, so we should be able to hear about that in a couple of days um, but uh, there may be the necessity to call an emergency meeting of the City Council and um, take money out of fund balance uh, to undertake the uh, abatement of this hazard because this, the engineer's report said that this building could come down literally as I'm giving this report. Hmm. Um, so we've taken steps uh, to protect the public <coughs> as well as we can. Uh, we believe we, well, we are seeking access to, to outside funds to be able to deal with this. Um, but if the situation deteriorates any further, um, I'm going to call for a special emergency meeting of the City Council. Uh, in the email that I sent you, uh, sorry, I am developing a cold, so I'm uh, a little off my game. I referenced uh, option three, which uh, is the complete reconstruction of that building. I actually meant to reference option two, which is shoring up the shared wall and the demolition of the building. So just to, didn't want to confuse anybody with the email I sent earlier. I actually meant option two. Allegedly, it's the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Ms. Russell, could we have the roll call, please? Councilor Lassard? Here. Councilor Hearn? Here. Councilor Stone? Here. Assistant Mayor Dameron? Here. Councilor Zulo? Here. Councilor Keir? Here. Councilor Kolosky? Here. Councilor Pope? Here. Mayor Levin? Here. Thank you. Next on the agenda is Citizens Forum. Um, this is reserved for non-agenda items. Is there anybody from the public who would like to speak? Council. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Oscar. First thing, uh, Joe Osgood, Ward 1. Yeah. Um, first thing I'm going to just say, I haven't heard anything on Topstone. The second thing is I'm a little bit concerned that I'm reading conversation in the newspaper about the city of Claremont taking on the responsibility of two buildings that are married together and they're owned by individuals and not the city I'm a little bit concerned about us talking about doing something with something that in my eyes would be a civil issue between two people um, I'm just gonna throw that out I'm concerned about that because I don't want to start a precedent uh, and that could very well be thank you okay, thank you is there anybody else who'd like to speak yes mr. Putnam David Putnam Ward 2. So today I have heard that um, it is the council's wish to meet to discuss and perhaps vote on 
asking for the city manager's resignation or asking him to um, to uh, leave. Um, I want to express my concern over how that's helping us as a city move forward with projects that we're now working on. Um, to ask uh, the city manager who is in charge of all of the department heads to just do that cold turkey I think is uh, risky. It doesn't make a good image of Clama and how we are as a community are trying to work forward improving ourselves. Uh, we already this year have lost uh, city planner and DPW director who were highly respected people. Um, I've had conversations with them and they've explained to me reasons why they have resigned. I'm not going to share those here. Um, <coughs> but it is all about developing trust and faith and working with you as a council um, and, and a level of communication that uh, seem to be uh, challenged by how some of you conducted yourselves personally with those folks. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anybody else? Okay. Okay. We'll close citizens uh, forum and move on to the next item on the agenda, which is a non-public session pursuant to RSA 91-A colon 32 uh, in parentheses small a for personnel. Is there somebody who would like to make that motion? I'll make that motion to go into non-public session for RSA 91-A colon 3 nominal 2 parenthesis small a. Is there a second? Second. Okay, so the motion was made by Councillor Zulo and seconded by Councillor Stone. Did you want to invite anybody into the non-public? Um, we'd like to invite Mark Broth and Ryan McNutt. And Mark Broth would be available via phone. And um, who is the other person? Ryan. Oh. McNutt. Oh, thank you. And he will be invited towards the end of it. Councilor Pope? Did another citizen come in? Did that person want to speak? I don't know. We're in the middle of a motion and we have it seconded. Um, what was the will of the council? Mm -hmm. As long as it's only one. Yep. Okay. Um, so we're, we've already seconded it. Do you want me to withdraw, have it withdrawn and then start all over again? Or just put it on hold? Just put it on hold. Okay. Is there, would you like to speak? Yep. Uh, Richard Warlick, uh, Ward 3. Um, I guess, can I ask what the, uh, what, what the motion is on the table? The motion is to go into non-public. Okay. Um, so I guess this is um, I'm coming up here to talk and uh, I'm a little bit concerned with where the board is going with uh, the vote for uh, uh, our uh, city manager and um, I'm a little bit concerned that uh, we've got quite a few vacancies if you will that have uh, occurred in in our city structure lately and I don't think that this is is uh, a good one to happen um, I'm also a little concerned that uh, that the uh, uh, the City Council and, and the city manager can't uh, really uh, come to any type of uh, form of uh, conversation um, that's pretty much what I want to say thank, thank you. you thank you so we're back to our motion so um, yep and we'll have a roll call please Councilor Sarr? Yes. Councilor Hearn? Yes. Councilor Stone? Yes. Sister Mary Dameron? Yes. Councilor Zulo? Yes. Councilor Keir? Yes. Councilor Kolofsky? Yes. Councilor Pope? Yes. May 11. Yes. And so. Public session, and is there a motion to read the first resolution? Yes, I'll make that motion. Uh, resolved. Ryan W. McNutt has been employed by the City of Claremont as its city manager since February 1st, 2017. 
under the terms of an employment agreement dated February 1, 2017. Section 3 of the agreement provides that the city manager may be terminated by a majority vote of the city council with or without cause. The city council has had the opportunity to review and assess Mr. McNutt's performance as city manager since his date of hire. The city council is not satisfied with Mr. McNutt's job performance and conduct as city manager. The city council has informed Mr. McNutt of its dissatisfaction in the following areas. Number one, failure to keep the city council informed as to matters affecting the city. Two, failure to provide the city council with advance notice of issues that are or that are likely to be of concern to the public. Three, failure to communicate with the public and with members of the city council in a respectful and courteous manner. Four, failure to demonstrate improvement in these areas despite having been given the guidance, time, and opportunity to do so. Five, failure to demonstrate a commitment to improvement in these areas. And finally, number six, these deficiencies have caused the city council to lose confidence in the city manager's ability to work collaboratively with the city council in furtherance of the best interests of the city. While no legal cause is necessary to terminate Mr. McNutt's employment, the city council has determined that these performance and conduct issues are detrimental to the effective operation of city government and that they constitute good and sufficient reasons for termination. Therefore, by majority vote, the City Council hereby notifies Mr. McNutt that his employment as City Manager shall terminate, effective on the 30th day following his receipt of this resolution. Pursuant to his employment agreement and the City Charter, Mr. McNutt may, within 10 days of his receipt of this notice, demand a public hearing to discuss the matters set forth herein. Is there a second? Second. So the re resolution was read, read by Assistant Mayor Dameron, seconded by Councillor uh, Stone. Is there a uh, roll call, please? Discussion? Yes. I will be voting no on this. Um, I don't agree with all the reasons listed, and I don't believe in spending taxpayer money to bring in a consultant to improve communication and then not waiting for measured results. And I uh, myself had have seen um, some improvement. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Roll call vote, please. Councilor Hassard? No. Councilor Hearn? Yes. Councilor Stone? Yes. Assistant Mayor Dameron? Yes. Councilor Zulo? Yes. Councilor Keir? Yes. Councilor Kolosky? No. Councilor Pope? Yes. Mayor Lovett. Yes. The second resolution resolved that having voted this date to notify the city manager of the city council's intent to terminate his employment, the city council in accordance with the city manager's employment agreement and the city charter hereby places him on administrative leave effective immediately. The city council hereby appoints Mark Chase uh, to serve as acting city manager for the day of January 3rd only and beginning on January 4th John McLean former city uh, former keen city manager is there a second second okay the resolution was read by assistant mayor Dameron seconded by councillor stone roll call, roll call please Councilor Assard? No. I'm sorry? No. Councilor Hearn? Yes. Councilor Stone? Yes. Assistant Mayor Dameron? Yes. Councilor Zulo? Yes. Councilor Keir? Yes. Councilor Koloski? No. Councilor Pope? No. Mayor Levin? Yes. Okay. Anything else? I think that takes care of it all. Okay. All right. Um, I believe that takes care of this evening's business. We have future agenda items and directives. Is there anything from the council on this? I have one request for the council, and that is the issue of um, 
the nativity scene in Broad Street Park, if we could be bring begin the process of looking at policy on that and have it sent down to the policy committee. Is that okay with the council? I ask because we're supposed to be meeting tomorrow evening. Yes, I, I think that would be wise. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Okay, so the motion was made by, I'm sorry, Councillor O'Hearn and seconded by Councillor Zulo. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed?